tied up here. Nancy Shirley Alberta is our other proud member of the class of 76. Um, I just it's hard to believe that Southside High School is 100 years old. And uh, it's been a great, great year here. And I'm currently on staff, and uh, it's just been a great year to be here. And hopefully, um, you, know, you have been able to come to some of our functions that we've had. Uh, we had a major event of football for homecoming and a basketball homecoming. Um, the musical, uh, the music booth, we did the music band this year, uh, which I directed, Nancy was in. Yeah. We had kids from all the feeder schools in it. We had alumni in it. It was just a blast. And just about a thousand people saw the show. So that's just me. That's really good. Good, good things, uh, good word out for Southside. Um, and as uh, I have uh, been asked, what what is it about Southside that makes it what we are? Um, and that's like the everybody we. Um, to me, Southside is an absolute anchor to the South of the town. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I am, you know, I, I have my home in, out here in the 07, and it's just, you know, like, we had a few more restaurants, that would be good, but, um, but it's still a great place to live, it's a wonderful place to work, um, and, and especially, it's, it's a special meeting for me because not only am I a staff, but I'm also an alum. So, uh, we have some of our with the, the Centennial Committee, for those of you who are here, if you can stand up please to be recognized. That would be great.
great big beautiful um, uh, memorial to the veterans of World War from you know the were South Side archers and the were uh, killed in World War II. That's still there, and we have uh, ones that were put up for different uh, military actions. That, so if you haven't had a chance to see that, um, it's if you remember the one, the big one from World War II, we added to it um, to really um, honor our veterans, and we really need to give the veterans. Those and if there are any of you here, if there are any of you who are veterans, please stand and be recognized and thank you very much for your service. Okay, and next up on the docket is uh, Amanda McCoy, who is our uh, STEAM coordinator. Southside is a, a STEAM school, and uh, Amanda will tell you that it's an anagram, and she'll tell you what each of the letters stand Hi, my name is Mandy McCoy, and I am our uh, STEAM Men Resource Teacher here at Southside. Um, STEAM is, if you don't know, an acronym for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Math. Um, Southside has been lucky enough to receive a federal grant. We are in year four of five of the grants, and it is Southside and a few of our feeder schools. So Southside Memorial Park, Weiser Park, and um, Whitney Young that we have been given this money to become a, uh, a STEAM magnet school. So what does that mean? Um, basically it means that we are trying to prepare our students for the ever-changing uh, job field. We're trying to prepare kids for jobs that don't even exist yet. So we kind of focus on those, um, those fields of science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. And the reason that Southside is a STEAM school and not STEM, which you may have heard of STEM, um, the A is for the arts, for our uh, traditional fine arts um, part of our school. Um, and so we do all kinds of fun things. If you went on the tour, I, there was a scavenger hunt where you could see some student projects that they have made um, either with me and our STEAM lab in B101. Um, if you didn't get a chance to check that out, please do. We have um, 3D printers and coding robots and a cold forge laser cutter, an engineering card, all kinds of things to um, get kids using their hands and you know using those critical thinking skills and collaborating together and sparking creativity. Um, we do a uh, semester long once a semester, um, we require that all teachers participate in some kind of a STEAM project where um, they are either applying some sort of real world problem, kids are working together, they are involving members of the community um, in some way, or they are really designing something uh, creatively in their classes. And uh, this spring semester, our overarching um, essential question that students were answering is how can we analyze the 100 year history of Southside to ensure a quality education for future generations? So we really leaned in with our 100 year um, celebration to in, in the academic classroom. Some of my favorites um, that have come out of this essential question I don't know if you saw the chalk art on Calhoun and the little signs that said, um, take a walk in our shoes. We had a uh, collaboration with um, Bill Blass's CEO. Um, so our art students made chalk art um, with shoe prints. Our, in our history classes, um, students were interviewed about their lives and what does it mean to be an archer? What is it like to walk in our shoes? Um, we had English students create six-word memoirs with a little Polaroid of their shoe about themselves. Um, and then we had our um, PE students. This was really cool. Um, we had a goal to walk 100 miles with a student. So staff members were um, 
were asked to walk one mile during PE classes on the track with a kid and just get to know them and choose somebody that you don't know. Um, and every time you walked a mile, every time a staff member walked a mile with a student, there was a, um, it's like a bar, and you could sign in, and the kids got to sign in. Um, and it was just really fun to get to know a kid that you didn't necessarily know. Um, so that's just one example of our, our STEAM project. Um, we are just really trying to get kids engaged and get kids prepared for these uh, these jobs that we don't even know exist yet. So whether that means becoming an engineer or an actuary or a coder, if college is your route, or going into trades and you know going into carpentry or welding or even an electrician, it's um, STEAM is all about trying to get kids prepared um, after high school for these new 21st century jobs. We also have um, some new STEAM clubs that we've started um, in the past couple of years. COVID's slowed some of them down, but um, we have um, a robotics club now with about 20 students. We are one of the only um, one of the only high schools in Indiana with our we have Vex Robotics. We have um, about equal boys and girls members. We're one of the only high schools that has equal amounts of boys and girls on our on high school teams. We have um, eSports, which that's lagging a little bit due to COVID. Our computers are a little behind, but um, that's a big part of our STEAM clubs. The kids are really excited about that. And we also have a Makerspace STEAM club, um, which is just coming down to our STEAM lab and playing and being creative and learning how to use 3D printers and all the technology we have down there. So um, I like to say that Southside is always known for its history and its tradition, but um, STEAM is kind of where tradition meets innovation. And we are always, as we always have, we are always preparing kids for life after high school. So it's been a great opportunity um, to be the STEAM resource teacher.
Um, Southside is, a, is an official magnet, arts magnet school. Part of that is involved with STEAM uh, and the, we get, we get the, the grant that we get from, from the federal government to, um, so that like myself as a theater teacher, I get a certain amount that I can buy things. Uh, it's all kind of equipment based for specifically for the stage. So like I have bought um, a bunch of new lights. Um, the school district put in all, like, you know, the big, the big set of stage lights, they did that. And um, a new sound system, um, some curtains, uh, all, sorts of, all sorts of stuff. And um, that also that uh, music is theater, theater music, which is vocal and instrumental, dance, and finance. And we all get sort of share, a yearly share of that. We get what we don't think for that year. Uh, and it's, it's been really nice to have. And I, I, um, there it is. I know I personally, I wanted to make sure that when I leave Southside, which will be next Friday at 420, which is my last day, after 41 years of teaching. Nice. <laughs> but I, but anyway, um, we, you know, South 
I'd say. And, and as, as you know, for, to, for the kids to have the ability to get up in front of a group of people and talk, for anybody, that's the most difficult thing for anybody to do. And if, as a coach, I can, I could get those kids beyond that fear and learn how to um, carry themselves, how to um, become aware of things and pass that knowledge on, then you know, then I did my job, right? And um, I, I have lots of students over the years that are in. Um, situation where they have to either conduct a meeting if they're with their coworkers or in managerial positions or you know, all kinds of things. But it is because of the caring of the, the administrator and having a solid, good, solid speech team. You know, yes, it's the kids. Yes, it's the coaches. But if I didn't have the support of my administration, we wouldn't have it. Because there, you know, there are a lot of high schools in this area that do not have it and didn't they don't have, they didn't have it then, they don't have it now. And I can say that when, when I was coaching here, my principal is in the building, Jennifer Mant, right there in the corner. She, I could not have asked for more support for our speech team than, than Jennifer, thank you so much. Um, and the reason that I was so thrilled to be asked to become an IB teacher 
is because of the level of thinking that it requires of the students, as well as the um, world that it opens up to them, because it truly is global, and it truly does ask those students to consider something larger than um, just their own little community. So, enough from me. Let me introduce you to our students. Um, and I have the last slide, not because I'm that important, but because I'm the oldest. So, all right. There is music, but our audio is not working. And the music was um, composed by singer Alex Aylward and um, played by former Bible students whose name I can't remember if I might have this moment. And it's really very modern and interesting and just imagine that better. <laughs> <laughs>
Marianne again to so give us a little rundown about our club, our clubs here at Southside. As uh, Mr. Bolt said, I'm here to talk about athletics 
and, and the accomplishments of individuals and teams over the last 25 years since the last celebration. I will do this by going season by season, fall season, winter season, spring season. I will talk to you about individual champions and team champions um, throughout that 25 year period. So, here we go. Fall sports. Our football team, 2005 sectional champions. Uh, Bernard Pollard, 2003 graduate, played at Purdue University, played in the NFL. Volleyball, sectional champions, 1998. Boys soccer, sectional champions, 2004, 2009, also SAC champions in 2009. Sectional champions again in 2011, 2015, 2018. Bryce Rockwell Ashton, Indiana All Star in Soccer, 2009. Girls Soccer, Sectional Champions, 2004, 2011. Boys Cross Country, Evan Walda, Sectional Champion, 2019. Girls Cross Country, Sectional Champions, 2020. 2021, Abigail Ryder, SAC champion, sectional champion in 2014, Laura Walda, 2020 state qualifier, 2021 sectional champion, state qualifier, boys tennis, SAC champions 2006, 2007, 2008, sectional champions 1998, 2002, 2003, 2007, 2010. Derek Carpenter, state singles champion in 2007. That wraps up our fall sports. Winter sports, boys basketball, sectional champions in 1997, 2000, 2004, 2007. SAC champions in 2000. Cameron Stevens, all-star, Kentucky, Indiana All-Star Classic in, well, wouldn't you know it, I didn't write down the year. 97, thank you. And uh, Cameron was just recently inducted into the Indiana Basketball Hall of Fame as a member of the Silver Anniversary Team. Girls Basketball, sectional champions 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010. 2012, 2013, 2018. Regional champions, 2008, 2013. Semi-state champion, 2013. State runner-up, 2013. Uh, the men Reese, Indiana Kentucky All-Star, 1997. Shayla Jackson, Indiana Kentucky All-Star, 2007. Sydney Weiner, Indiana Kentucky All-Star, 2009. Ariana Simmons, Miss Basketball, and Indiana Kentucky All-Star, 2013. Girls Wrestling, Alexis Grider, State Finals, 2018. Swimming, Jagger Lauren, SAC Champion in 100 Freestyle in 2019, now swimming at the University of Finley. Spring Sports. Baseball, Sectional Champions, 2012, 2018, 2019. Will Corson Carr, Mr. Baseball 2012. He's now returned to be our head baseball coach. Boys Track, sectional champions 1999. 4x4 relay, state, regional, and state, or excuse me, sectional, regional, and state champions in 2018. Girls Track, Abigail Ryder, final state track meet 800 meter run, 2014. Alexis Ryder, final state track meet long jump, 2018. Lauren Walda, 2022 SAC champion, two mile, sectional champion as well. Grace Gilly, 2021, 2022 champion in pole vault, region qualifier this year. Janasia White, 2022 400-meter sectional champion. So as you can see, our athletic programs are going strong. We have a lot of individuals and teams that have accomplished great things here at Southside High School. When you get a chance, come out and watch them. Thank you.
Okay, um, next on the docket, we'd like to recognize those people who have um, uh, were all are graduated from Southside and returned to be on, on staff, whether that is teacher, custodian, cafeteria worker, um, and anywhere uh, who a full time a full time staff. And the, their names are in if you're here. Uh, your, names, your names are in the program with um, next to you uh, by your year of graduation, and I know we made a couple of mistakes, um, and I apologize for that. And as I read through here, as you call your name, if you're here, you put that here and see the answer. We have, uh, I love you. We have a gift for you, a uh, commemorative thing for, for your time here in Southside as an alum, and then take that really wanting to go back to make a difference. Okay, so we have um, Mary Pock, class of 26, and thus I'll put Philip Xavier applause for the end. Uh, Mary Pock, class of 26, Mary Graham, 29, uh, Cy Herriter, 29, Virginia Montgomery, 30, uh, Bill Dyer, class of 34, Don Reichert, 37, Phyllis Hafner Bear, 39, Lois Holtmeyer, 40, uh, Green Wittemann Nauman, class of 40, Darnia Baby Swank, 43, Bob Bernan, 44, Mary Shambaugh Singer, 46, Jim Tarr, 51, George Robert Davis, 52, <laughs> Donna Jean Brable Darby, 50, class 52, Bev Henry, Beverly Henry Weiss, uh, fifth class of 52, uh, Sue Brian Towns, class of 52, Neil Thomas, 52, Joan uh, Hattendorf Arquetta, 53, Dave Fell, 58, Carl Stavretti, 58, Janet Lowry Spindler, 58, Jennifer Mann, 62.
Conrad C.J. Graff, 82. Darren Nichols, 84. Joe Dicci, 86. Sixty 
years ago, in June, Jennifer Mantha and I graduated from this school. And I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, graduation took place in the gymnasium, as most activities took place in the gymnasium. I'm sure that Jennifer never thought in, in June of 1962 that she would come back here as the principal of Upper High School, nor did I think that I would be standing here today as the deputy mayor of the city of Fort Wayne to recognize uh, this school for its 100th anniversary. Uh, so with that, first from that humble comment, uh, well, let me read this proclamation. We're at Southside High School is celebrating 100 years of educating students within its Ivy covered halls. And where at Southside High School has graduated many fine citizens who have gone on to be leaders in Fort Wayne and throughout the world in sports, business, entertainment, and a multitude of other fields. And where at Southside High School has been a fixture of the community for the past 100 years, offering a variety of events to the public the entire, the entire staff of Southside has shown an outstanding commitment to provide exceptional support to the surrounding community for the past 100 years. And whereas Southside High School is the only high school in Northeast Indiana to offer the prestigious International Baccalaureate Program, and whereas Southside High School is focused on ensuring graduates are prepared for the jobs of tomorrow, and expects to continue that tradition for generations to come. Now, therefore, I, Thomas C. Henry, Mayor of the City of Fort Wayne, Indiana, do hereby proclaim May 21st, 2022, as Southside High School's centennial celebration in Fort Wayne and encouraging all citizens to duly know this occasion.
Justification Monday, Ivy Day is Thursday of next week, about 9.30. Come on down to the South Carolina and watch that 100th class. Okay, thank you.